Imagine a world without energy. Just a dark world with no light at all. In a world we know to be full of light and color, no electronic devices whatsoever would exist. Just the dark, empty room. Does this seem impossible to you? Well, it's not. 1.2 billion people in the world still do not have access to modern energy systems. And in countries like South Sudan, only 1% of the population has access. This is why the development goal of ensuring universal access to modern energy services by 2030 is so important. Almost all of the world's problems could be solved if everyone had energy. Although this goal is going to fail unless the UN takes action right now, the situation has got better, but still it's not good enough. So what places in the world are most affected by the crisis? India has the biggest energy deficit in the world among its population. However, Sub-Saharan Africa is a very close second in that race. And most countries in the world suffer from power shortages sometime or another. The United States itself is not perfect either. Puerto Rico has still not gotten power fully back from Hurricane Maria. The power map on the screen shows Puerto Rico after the hurricane and beforehand. Roughly 13% of Puerto Rico has no power from a hurricane that happened in September of 2017. So why does this problem occur in the first place? Because there are not many reliable energy services that everyone can access in the world. And if they, are, if they are accessible, they're probably not good for the environment. And if they are good for the environment, they probably cost way too much money for developing countries. So how do we overcome these obstacles? We find an energy option that is cheap, reliable, and environmentally friendly. Solar energy is the best way for us to solve the problem. Many startups are focusing on this topic of the world energy crisis, and with emerging technologies that have been put together since the development goals creation, sustainable cheap energy is right around the corner. One of the research groups trying to find a solution is the University of California. The research group is working on a product that would make solar panels up to 30% more efficient. This would make solar panels cheaper, as you would not have to buy as many and more countries can make the switch to clean, reliable, and inexpensive energy to run the country. The more we experiment with different sources of energy, the more we will understand what works and what doesn't. Obviously, 100% energy by access by 2030 is nearly impossible, but it is very possible to make the situation a lot better. With these ideas and strategies, places like South Sudan and India could see a major improvement in the upcoming years. Thank you for listening to my presentation and learning just that much more on why the global energy crisis is such a vital issue in today's world.